Hi, I'm Don Frank, and I am joined here with Andrew Moss, uh, Director of Strategic Initiatives here at Gallagher. Andrew, thank you for joining us. Don, it's a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Of course. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what your and your work with the Core 360 risk map? Sure. So as the Director of Strategic Initiatives for Gallagher, I work directly with our clients to maximize the tools and resources that we provide uh, from Gallagher. And that could be everything from our e-risk hub to our loss control portal, or in this case, we're going to be talking about the risk map. Okay. So I have a few questions uh, regarding the risk map. We, would you love to run through them with you? That sounds great. Let's do it. In 30 seconds or less, can you talk to us about what Gallagher's Core 360 risk map is and how it can benefit organizations? Sure. So our Core 360 risk map is a way in which we collectively aggregate all the information about a client, taking their C-suite level and being able to ask them what are the biggest concerns that they're having within their organization. So it's a strategic analysis that then will able to help organizations prioritize. What are the things they want to address in the next three months? And what are the things they want to address in the next three years? And so because it's customizable, we can really tailor it not only to the organization's niche, but also to the organization itself and its, next, its current plans. So in what ways has this assessment been customized specifically for financial institutions? So I've had the pleasure of working with the Managing Director of Financial Institutions at Gallagher, Eileen Yoon. So I and Eileen and I sat down and we really discussed what are the ins and outs and the basic and more complex operations that a financial institution really has to focus on in a post-pandemic world. And so between all of those meetings and then a collaboration with some of her team, we've been able to put something that's not only robust, but concise simultaneously to make sure we're maximizing our clients' time to ensure that they're getting a great product that doesn't take a heavy lift on their end. When's the ideal time for a financial institution to consider engaging with Gallery or to complete a risk map? I mean, there's no time like the present, but I think especially now we're seeing a tremendous uptick in the way that organizations are kind of reassessing themselves after the pandemic itself. And so now that they have an opportunity, they're reopening, they're re-engaging with their customers, they're looking for new customers simultaneously, this is a perfect opportunity for them to sit down, plan out their next, again, not only three-month strategy, but their next three-year strategy, and then build a platform to reach those goals. Given that this is something that we're so excited to bring to FI, can you give us an example of how this assessment was able to benefit an organization maybe in another industry? Sure. Um, so I think something that could be really applicable to FI is as there's been a lot of M&A activity recently, we were able to do one with a life science company in which we were actually with two different firms. One was actually based in Germany and one was in America. And there was going to be a joining of the boards and the CEO of the German company was actually going to be joining uh, the American firm and lead the company now. Well, what we did is we worked directly with the American CFO and he in turn put him, us in touch with his partners over in Germany and we put together a risk map that was specifically designed for the M&A so that when they were looking at how they were gonna bridge the cultures together, how they were gonna make sure that this company was gonna to come together and really jump out of the gate from the very outset under new leadership, it was gonna do so in a great um, and efficient way. And how we did that was we gave the American side uh, risk map, and then we gave the German side a risk map, the same one, and then we aggregated the results together. So ultimately, the executive board had three different risk maps that they could look at, one from the American, one from the German, and one from the aggregated. And what they found is there were differences that the American versus German companies um, as good concerns uh, relating to what this merger was going to mean for them. And so by being able to know that ahead of time, the company was able to then address those concerns holistically for the entire new organization and really push their profit margin up as they became this new company that uh, was both overseas as well as domestic. That, that's a perfect example. 